We were still with two no defeats today, but a worthwhile exercise. Well, it was uh, exactly what we what we needed in order to see our young talent. I thought the the young players showed that all the good work that they do in a daily basis, and we're producing many good footballers. But today, I think it was very clear that uh, we need to get that sort of. Um, uh, experience in, in, in league football that he makes a, a big difference in, in score lines. I thought it was a really good game in that respect. The championship team uh, at full strength that they're going to have a, a very good season. And I thought we competed really, really well. Um, very few chances. Uh, maybe we should have taken hours. And there are many, many good aspects uh, to be able to see Brian Oviedo competing for the first time 90 minutes since the, the long. Long, long time away from the from the uh, field of play. I thought the two centre half tires Browning and Matthew Pennington were outstanding, and then everywhere else is is a little bit of a, a worry in terms of something that is going to happen in 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 British football. The emergency loans are going to disappear in a year's time. Today it was important for us to see where the younger players were, in order to see if they're ready for the first team and. I just feel that it's going to be very, very difficult to allow young players to develop and grow without having the opportunity of going out on loan in emergency loans after a season. So I think today, if anything, uh, we saw that we need to put something in place to, to develop our young players and make them uh, a little bit more prepared for the, for the first team. But in terms of I thought the, the workout was exactly what we needed for, for what we're looking for today. You touched on Brian Oviedo just there. How impressed have you been with him pre-season? Is he ready for the, for the new season ahead? Well, today you needed the 90 minutes. You, you saw early on in the first 10, 15 minutes probably it was, it was just getting used to uh, uh, getting with the tempo of the game and, and different areas of the pitch. And I thought uh, it, it coped with the 90 minutes really, really well. It was a, uh, from that point of view, it was a, a, a very step forward in order for Brian to be considered fully fit and, and ready to perform at the highest level. So that, that was a real, a real plus. I thought the, 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 the roles that the first team players had, they were uh, full of leadership and full of a uh, uh, good attitude. And then the youngsters, it's, it's great to see that uh, talent that they have, that quality that they develop working at Finch Farm, but as I say, yeah, I think it was good to see that sort of game in order to see how close the players are from being able to be important in the first team. Obviously Villarreal tomorrow, all eyes on that now, how much looking forward to that? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a huge game for many reasons, first, first and foremost because it's, it's a, a terrific opportunity to, to, to pay admiration to one of the uh, Blue Giants, uh, Duncan Ferguson deserves that that event, deserves the, the football occasion, and for many reasons, uh, it's going to be a real celebration. Uh, then we got the real game, and Villarreal are a, a, a team with with a, with a, a huge tactical uh, disposition that will have to be well tested and well well aware. But just um, with uh, the starting of the league around the corner, uh, it's going to be a, a very important. Uh, 90, 90 minutes in, in order to prepare while well they start of the season. So for many reasons, um, it's going to be a full house. Goodison uh, is going to be ready to celebrate uh, a special occasion. And we need to make sure that we, we use the 90 minutes to prepare ourselves as well as we can before the Watford. Just finally as well, Romelu Lukaku, how is he? Has he got a chance tomorrow? Well, we'll, we'll assess it. Uh, I don't think we're going to take any risks on him tomorrow, but obviously, it's, uh, I would say is. From a, from a medical point of view, is fully fit. It's just making sure that we give him a good introduction to work with the group. He hasn't worked with the group yet, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk him in a in a preseason game. But obviously, Rom will be fully fit for the start of the season against uh, against Watford at, at home.